Hey y'all, so I'm coming to you guys back with another video. frontal wig what? so this is the wig i just received it in the mail today it looks so good so good i purchased this wig on ali express so far what i noticed is that the hair is really soft i'm not sure if it's giving 28 inches yet but it's kind of long when i tried it on but it's not giving the 28 inches not to me but i know curly hair is always different so the products you would need for your wig install you would need some scissors a comb some kind of foundation i'm going to just be using this cheapy fit me foundation a makeup brush some clips a wig brush some alcohol, some got to be spray, a straightening comb. You'll need a stocking cap, which is what I, I have on my head right now. You'll need a band for your wig front when you get done. You'll also need a edge brush, or you can use like an old toothbrush because they work the same way. What I'm gonna go ahead and start doing is apply my Fit Me to the top of my wig. I'm not gonna be doing much talking in this video due to a lot of background picking up with the kids in the back. So I'll be doing a voiceover. And this is also what I'm gonna be using once I tint my wig as well. So I'm gonna pull it to the side of my ears. So when doing this step, you wanna make sure that you get that foundation to blend really, really well to match your skin complexion. I'm just using some cheap Fit Me foundation that I picked up at my local Ulta Beauty. And it was very inexpensive, only like $10. And I find this method was better than me investing in the darker stocking cap. So next, I'm going to be using my got to be spray. Spray it on down. So you're going to make sure you get that got to be around those edges. That is where you're going to be doing your cutting net. So that is the most important part when sticking this wig cap down. Once done with the wig cap, you're going to take your blow dryer and basically move it in a circular motion in front of your hairline to make sure that when you get ready to cut, that that wig cap is nice and secure. I'm going to just cut my stocking cap in the middle and then work my way on the sides as close as I can to the hair. So in this step, you can also use a eyebrow razor i didn't use the eyebrow razor because i seen that people said that they normally cut themselves on the forehead and i didn't want to end up with a cut i actually could have used some smaller scissors but these were the only scissors that i had at the moment so i had to work with what i had so once you get done cutting that stocking cap you should have something like this it kind of blends in with my skin. Looking kind of ball cappy. So it kind of looks like I'm going to like a ball head. Like, see how perfect it blends in? So what I'm going to do now is go in with that same foundation and that's what I'm going to do to tint 
protect my lace. And I'll be using my same brush. So instead of using bleach to tint my lace, I'm just going to go in with that same foundation that I got from the brand Fit Me. And it did really, really well with blending in. It matched my scalp is that. And I think this was so much easier and so much cleaner that I didn't have to use any bleach or anything. Okay, so once I finish that, I got something that looks like this. Ah! I'm just gonna spray a little bit to be around my edges before I stick it on. So after you apply that got to be, you're going to just go ahead and make sure that you pull that wig down nice and secure to get it to match where you want it to match at. And that's what that's going to do to help keep it in place. So now what I'm going to do is cut the pieces off on the sides of my ears. So now what I'm going to do is cut some of this excess lace off. I'm going to go in with my alcohol to clean my forehead. You would need to do this step in order for your lace to stick. So this step here is really, really important. You want to make sure that you go in with your alcohol and clean all that spray or any oil or anything that's on your face. Because if you don't clean it good, you have a chance of your wig lifting and also not sticking. What I do is go in with the glue closest to my hair. And then I'm going to take my rat tail comb to the smooth end. And then once it goes clear, then I will add my other layer. So this is my second layer. For some reason, this glue was taking a little minute to turn clear. After I smoothed it out, I felt like they helped the process move by a little faster. So you want to make sure you smooth that glue in and get a big spacing so that way that you're able to like actually lay your lace. So as you can see right here, the glue is like on my skin and on the front of the very tip of the stocking. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and lay my lace in front of where the glue is. So 
So everything looks like it's matching up. So I'm gonna go through with my comb. And kind of press it in the lace. Once you get the wig in the spot that you want it and it's nice and secure, you're gonna go ahead and comb that lace inside of that glue. You can do this section by section. I started from the front and worked my way to the back. And then I will go in the middle and do the same thing. But while you're doing this area, you want to make sure that you still secure that with that lace in the front with your hand. I'm just going to put my band on for a little bit. And then I will come back. So that band comes with a piece of Velcro on the back of it. I didn't use the Velcro. I just took it in the middle and I just double tied it. I tied it as tight as I could. And that way I felt like it was more secure. So I'm just brushing the hair out just to get any tingles or tugs or anything that is in the hair before I get ready to start my plucking. I'm just going to put my hair back again and then go ahead and finish cutting my lace. And then I'll tie it back down again. So once you take it off, you should have something like this. And again, this is probably about my fifth time installing my own lace wig. It's been a little minute. So in this step, you want to go in with your scissors or your razor blade, eyebrow razor, and cut really close to the front of your hairline. I didn't cut straight across. I tried to do like the zigzag method just so that it doesn't look too straight in the front and that the lace is seamless. So this is the first side that I cut off versus this side. I have cut all the lace off and any little pieces like this that I see that are sticking up, I'm just gonna go back in with my glue about two layers and then I will stick it back down. I think I'll do about one layer. Not really. Well, I'll do about two. So I have secured it down, so I'm going to just go in and start plucking this hair out around the hair now. So this step right here is really, really important whenever you are trying to pluck your hair. You want to make sure you go ahead and take out your parts where you're going to have your baby hairs at to get that like traditional original hairline. And then you're going to want to start plucking from 
the very from right behind that line you're going to start plucking that area to thin it out a little bit to give it like a natural look this method right here does take some time some people usually prefer to like do it before they put the wig on their head but i actually like to put my wigs on first and then start to pluck in that way that I can see exactly how each hair is going to lay once so it's once on my actual on this side, I will just come back to show you guys the difference from this to this. So you can see how it's looking so far. compared to this and when you're doing this step you want to make sure that you do take your time you don't want to thin it out too too much but you want it to be thin enough so that it's noticeable and give it scalp as you can see I keep shaking my hand because like I said this process takes some hand work y'all like y'all really have to work hard when you're trying to get that original hairline I don't like that thick thick hairline as you can see on the other side of my head it looks too thick compared to like my thinning hairline on the other side, which is what I'm going for. But this takes a lot of hand work. So if you guys have to stop a few times and take a little break, stop and do that so that you can get the perfect hairline. So you see that hairline coming in, okay. Compared to this, you can see the difference, Cookie? You can see the difference? <laughs> The best thing you want your front to look realistic as possible. As if they were real edges. So you just pump until you feel that it's giving real edges. And in my opinion, guys, it's no wrong or white way to pluck it. I just go and do whatever I think fits me well. You guys may have other ways that you guys do it. But I just normally just pluck until I feel like enough hair is gone. So I'm going to go for a deep side part. So whenever you're doing your wigs, whether they are straight or curly, you want to go in with your wax and then you want to go in with your hot comb and get it closest to that part area so that it becomes more defined. And also it gives you that relaxed look. to do but we're gonna try this out and see how it goes Y'all, I am so proud of myself because this came out better than many times that I have attempted to take my time to do a wig. Like, I'm not even done yet and I already love the results. Mm. 
and this straight to cool them get so hot, so. Give me that. Yeah, we definitely have to be careful when you're doing those. I'm gonna use some eco for my edges. So when getting these edges done, this is my challenging part. But later on at night, I ended up going back and looking at a few tutorials to learn how to do my edges better. And I found that using the foam was much easier and also the flat iron to curl the hair before I do my edges. So I will do a tutorial on that next time. Showing you guys how easier it was to actually lay your edges once you use the flat iron and then all you have to do is just swoop it back. Y'all, I am so in love. Like, I think I did my thing. Like, this is like my very first time I can say that I actually love the wig and how it's sticking and everything. Normally, when I do do a wig install, this the uh, front of the lace is always coming up. And I don't see any lace coming up at all, y'all. Like, check your girl out. This is the final part. I'm going to go in with some foam. You can go in with foam and water. I'm going to go in with some water too. I think that this will definitely be a service that I'm going to add back to my booking list. Yeah, y'all. I am so excited and I am so happy with this install. So, y'all, this is the. Final look, and I love it. I think it came out so good. I need to get my eyebrows waxed, and I cannot find my eyelashes that I want to put on. So I'm gonna give y'all a 360 view. It's the back. So it is 28 inches, and it comes to like my waist. Girls for the girls. I'm back, y'all. I feel back and I'm better. I can't wait to get my lashes done now, y'all. I think I did an awesome job. Like, to be honest, y'all, this is like the best that I ever did. So with practice makes perfect. I'm just gonna like braid it and then I will just take those on loose whenever I go somewhere or something like that. Yeah. 
just to keep the hair in good condition. I can actually probably do me like a braid on the side of this wig. And I use the foundation Fit Me. It's okay. I think it has like a ashy type look to it. I don't know if I should uh, put something else on my face first, but it's like an ashy type look that I don't really like. I guess that's what you get for the $10. It was only $10, so I guess that's what you get. I am just gonna have to go next week or so to just purchase some of my um, more expensive foundation. I might use the Rihanna Fenty, or I may just go with um, Born This, Born, I think it's called Born This Way. This style actually look cute. This look cute like this. This is style itself. Okay, bye. So this is how I finish doing whatever I was doing. I just put it in three plaits and then I put my band on. I may just take this band off because it's kind of squeezing my head. The back. You show your shirt. I'm not showing my shirt, Cookie. It's got three little plaques, and I won't take these out unless I'm going somewhere because it don't make sense to have all these curls in my face. But y'all, I am so happy. I can't wait to do my next wig install. I want to do a straight hair next, maybe like 28 Mom, inches. Can I get my hair too? You want your hair done like what? Today. How you want it? Can we get my hair today? Get what? <laughs> now she asked if she get her hair done today. What you trying to get? What? <laughs> I want to get that. A wig? No, I want to get little braids so you can. How do you have for next week when we go out when we go out again? What do you have for next week? Can I do my hair? Yeah. But alright y'all. So I will have more coming soon for you guys. But this is the first official. I keep showing y'all my hair y'all. I'm just too late. <laughs> so y'all this is the final look. I love the way that it came out. I think everything looks so good. Give you guys a side profile pic. So this is 28 inches. I think once I get bored with wearing it curly, I'm gonna make it straight. But I even got these baby hairs down, y'all. Like, I think it looks so good.